Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Mikey and today I wanted to discuss something that's pretty prominent on the subreddit right now and something that's being talked about uh, between Jagex and between us and that's the client debate or the client discussion right now and I kind of wanted to give my two cents in my limited experience. Uh, to the to the topic so I just wanted to talk freely about it so here we go I wanted to my first statement is that I think the original client is the Jagex client is completely outdated and does not fit the community that we are playing in today I think it was great for the community in 2007 having a very vanilla client uh, playing it through you, you know the web browser or whatever um, was very very vanilla there was you know there's nothing like we have today with third-party clients like xp trackers and you know being a notepad and a calculator at least i i wasn't exposed to it because i was you know a very young kid i didn't know how all that stuff worked so it was very good for new players new players came into a very vanilla experience and they could um you know understand at least the game didn't seem overwhelming obviously we know now that there's a lot of depth and efficiency buried in the game that we've kind of unlocked over the years of knowledge uh, between you know youtubers and better players showing what can be done so yeah that's that's the first statement i wanted to make is that i think the original client is completely outdated and it fits a community where there's an influx of new players and I don't think that's the case with old school RuneScape. I'd say the majority of players have either played the game before or played the game on a level where they understand that understand at least what the game entails and quote unquote efficiency or how to train certain skills things of that nature and it's become almost like a almost like a testing thing we we all share our best methods and we're trying to unlock the game even more and even though there's probably not many too or too many new methods to find out as content is released we tend to figure out the efficient ways to use that new content pretty quickly and that's just the state of the game right now it's much different than what it was in 2007 in my opinion it was more of a chat room with friends a very big game that a lot of people just played to play so they could be with friends and interact they weren't playing it like we're playing it now which is to progress and things of that nature not that's not the same for everybody but I, I, I would I'm making a generalization that I think is pretty accurate there so I want to talk a little bit about my experience with clients uh, in playing old school RuneScape I started with you know Jagex's client and when my cousin tipped me off to OS Buddy, that's when I switched to OS Buddy Free. And since then, even in my sporadic playing of old school RuneScape over the past couple of years, uh, very infrequent playing, uh, OS Buddy Free was basically what I used. And now that I've downloaded RuneLite today and I've scratched the surface of using the client, I definitely think that it's a superior client, especially with the free price tag. Um, I never paid for OS Buddy, nor did I ever plan to, but this RuneLite client is great. I've barely used all the features, but I've dabbled with as many features as I could and as many plugins as I could, and I think the aesthetic and I think the functionality of the client is amazing. And the OS Buddy Free and the RuneLite client completely blow Jagex's client out of the water, which is completely unacceptable for a company's game client to be so bad. They've totally crutched on the ability of other clients to appeal to the current community playing their game right now. So that's, that's frustrating. It's frustrating because we're, we're seeing the company completely neglect something that's very important to the game, and that's the client that we're playing on. So I had a few thoughts and a few ideas to offer to the community, and I don't know how many people see this, but I would love to have a discussion down below about it. And I'm forewarning, I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer, I'm not very educated on how clients work and the depth behind it, nor am I an uh, expert on RuneScape. I just returned... A couple weeks ago and have tried to catch up the best I can on, on the current situation so my first idea is that Jagex can support RuneLite and monitor work closely with the content that is being put in it making sure there is no anti-cheat but unfortunately or there that there is anti-cheat implemented into it and to stop plugins from breaking the game and things of that nature and stop certain code from breaking certain players experiences and giving 
a big edge to players that are using certain code because I think that undermines the premise of the game is that we're all not competing but we're all intertwined in this economy and we're all we all want to be on a pretty level playing field and basically our knowledge and our time spent in the game and our effort is being rewarded with recognition and that goes out the window when you take a you know when you have players that are abusing certain mechanics the problem with this option is that you're gonna have to close rune uh, uh rune light up a little bit you're gonna have to it can't be something that many people can work on it's going to have to be i feel a little more regulated and a little more monitored by jagex to prevent bad things from happening I, like i said i'm not well educated in that department uh, so i'm not going to speak too much on this one idea but that is an idea i've heard uh, previously from other people the second idea which i think as a businessman to me seems very plausible unless there is intervention from OS buddy giving money to not be targeted by Jagex but that's I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit I'll get to that at the end of the video but I think they should set a date approximately six to ten months out I'm not sure of the development time to make a client better I have no idea but I would say set a time frame and declare that they're gonna kill all third-party support and that they are um, that they quickly work towards the goal of upgrading their clients. So say after hypothetically eight months that we're gonna ban any player or warn and then ban any players that log into RuneScape, old school RuneScape through a third party service. And what they could offer the community is a free client that's very comparable to RuneLight, something that's you know just as good as RuneLight, or something that's just as good as OS Buddy Free to offer casual players an experience that's a little more honed in and a little more of a quality of life improvement. And then they can of course offer a paid a service just like OS Buddy Pro, or uh, obviously there's not one for Rune RuneLight. I do not believe right now, but maybe five to ten, maybe ten dollars a month uh for the few, top few percent of paid members that really are really worried about you know their having everything the way they want it a lot of the streamers a lot of the uh, content creators and a lot of the really diehard veterans are willing you know most of us are adults that are playing this game now we've grown up with the game and now you know we're making good money we're making decent money a lot of us you know can afford for one of our main hobbies to spend money on the game of 10 to 20 dollars a month i think is realistic uh to for those top few percent of players that are really into it and spending a majority of their time doing it i think i think that that's a great way to tackle it i think is to kill third party support set a date and use the manpower at jagex to focus on revamping their client because i think the client is a very integral role in the game you need to have a solid client and i believe the community would be in huge support of this if it was done correctly because i think a lot of people would prefer to play on jagex's client you know i think it's just kind of the pride of supporting jagex and i think a lot of people would say heck yeah if jagex had a good pro client that's that's what I would want to use because that's what you know that, that's helping support the game directly and keeping this game uh, afloat and I think that's something that we're all really uh, passionate about is keeping this game here so uh, the last idea I wanted to talk about is it could kill all third-party client uh, client interaction at a set date but work with the community or RuneLight or OS Buddy to help develop they could hire people to help develop their own client now I don't know how this would work exactly but what's great is Jagex gets the final say to whether they're gonna let third-party clients be used or not I, I, I believe that they could just ban people that aren't using or that aren't using their client I, I think they're they have to have some sort of ability to do that because this is their product so i think i think that is an unlikely scenario i think what's going to end up happening which i don't think is the best solution is that rune light's going to be targeted by jagex and i believe that there might be some intervention uh fiscally of between OS Buddy, RS Buddy, and um, 
Jagex. I think that they're potentially paying to not be targeted in this kind of third party war that's being started. And if that's the case, then I think Jagex will maintain the crapness of their current client. And I think they'll just let OS Buddy kind of hold hold the reins there on what, you know, what the client develop or as the client progresses, have them handle that and receive a portion of that profit so they don't have to worry about developing a pro uh, product, a new client. So I think that's probably what's going to happen, but I think the best solution is to kill third-party support, get a free and to get a paid client by Jagex that is exceptional, and I think they can even sacrifice the, the release of content. We're old school RuneScape players. We like the original state of the game. And a lot of us are very hesitant when new content comes out. And a lot of us enjoy the content because they have done a very good job. They've pulled it. But I'm worried that we're getting some creep into the game of releasing a lot of content because they're worried they have to make this game fresh all the time and i think old school runescape players are prone to being okay with a static game for a certain amount of time and having them polish the game that's currently here whereas if they're rushing content out a lot of things can become overpowered underpowered broken and it's kind of a mess it's kind of just throwing it all up in the air and hoping that it doesn't hit anyone and i think that what they could do and i don't know if this is the case is i wish they would pull back a little bit on content release least maybe for the next several months and focus on developing their client. I think that would be a huge move because at the end of those six months, they'll have a good idea of where the game state is at. They'll have a fresh client that everybody's using. They'll have more revenue from their paid client service and potentially have a few new people in, on their team that can help them continue to develop their client as well as gaining the respect and support of their entire community which is insanely valuable. I think seeing Jagex do something like that could get a lot of people to rally behind Jagex instead of shitting on them, which is what we're currently doing. I don't mean to shit on Jagex. I thank them for what they've done, but I think that they, they need to see the situation here and kind of buck up and do what needs to be done. So I think that's, it. I don't know, as a businessman, uh, I'm young, I'm ignorant to this stuff, but I think business-wise, that, that has to be the best option unless they're receiving substantial amounts of money from OS Buddy or an, or the third-party client uh, through the RS Buddy team that makes them unable to want to want to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, of course, like I, uh, like I prefaced all of this with, I don't claim to be the master I've, of RuneScape. <laughs> I've only been back a couple weeks. I'm a noob. And I, I'm not well read on coding, programming, or how clients work at all. This is just a guy's opinion on what I think the current situation is. So let me know down below what you think. It, inform me. If you know things that I don't know or if you're more well read into this subject, give me info down below. I'm, I want to learn. I'm open to anything. So like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disagree. Well, don't dislike it if you disagree. Dislike it if you hate the video. But um, subscribe if you want to see more OSRS content. And um, I appreciate all of you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Talk to you soon.